Paula Karima is one of the most recognizable figures in women's golf. However, the American has only just returned to action after a wrist injury sustained at last year's Evian Championship kept her out of action for six months. Yeah, Evian was definitely not the way that I was expecting my September and, you know, that being my last event of the year. And, you know, I went and I worked really hard on my short game um, a couple of days before. Um, there out of the bunker and pitching and chipping and I just overdid it too much and it was a new technique a new grip and my forearm just did not like that and I've had I've had uh, wrist injuries for probably the last two years and it just kind of all of a sudden all flared up at, at one time it was pretty painful I haven't gone through that kind of pain in a, in a long time I immediately went and got an MRI um, I saw some of the you know the doctors some of the best skiing um, therapist there as well and, and Evian that went and looked at my form and they just said you're gonna have to take five six weeks off and I'm like okay okay and then I go back to the states and we look at my wrist and we look at my form and everybody said you know you're gonna have to take all of this time off so what do you want to do and it was the decision that I made with my doctor I said fix my form fix my wrist give me the Rolls Royce of every surgery you know and get in there and just try to, to make it better and you know, it took a lot longer with my rehab, but uh, it's definitely been a, a crazy storm, that's for sure. Athletes talk about the recovery from injury not only being a physical, but also a mental challenge. For Paula, stepping away from the game and not hitting balls every day was an immensely difficult period. It was beyond hard. I mean, I have no idea. I had no idea what to do six months and sitting there and. You know, I, you can only cook so many meals. I mean, I went and worked out for like three, four hours every day because I didn't have anything else to do. I couldn't drive. You know, that was probably the hardest thing. I had to rely on everybody to take me somewhere, and that wasn't fun. Yes, it's been an eye-opening experience. You know, when I had surgery in 2010 on my thumb, I thought that was like the worst thing in the world, and that was only three months out. Little did I know that I'd be, you know, seven years later, be six months out. You kind of go through this like depression stage of like, oh, I feel bad for myself and all of these kind of things. And then you realize, come on, I can still do a lot. I can prepare my body for when I come back. Um, but being able to just be at home, you know, kind of be by myself, think about what I want. I mean, you know, the talent out here is so strong. I mean, what, what do I need to do to get back into, you know, the winner's circle? And there's a lot of things that need to be changed. And I don't really know if I didn't have that six months off if mentally I'd be in the same place where I'm at right now, and I'm in a really good place. Having last won on tour back in 2014, Paula was able to reflect on her career during her time off and decided some changes were in order. For the 2018 season, she's now playing with different equipment, has employed new swing and strength coaches, and has made a few other additions to her team. In her own words, she is new and improved and excited for the future. For the most part, my wrist and, and my forearm, they, they feel really good. It uh, has taken time. It was kind of one of those things where it took me 15 balls, and then it took me 10 balls, and now it takes me five balls. You know, I have to warm up before I hit any ball. I have to warm my wrist up um, with some certain exercises. I have to ice after every time I play golf. Um, I can't go and hit 100 balls after I play. That's just not going to happen anymore. Um, but I feel strong. You know, I had to to really make other parts of my body stronger so they would take over more than my left hand. And so I've, I've put on um, weight, I put on muscle, and I definitely can, you know, hit, I hit the ball a lot farther than, than I have before. Um, you know, and that happens when you're bigger and you're stronger. So, you know, of all of this in hindsight, I look at it and I think it's been um, honestly something that I will look back on and, and be thankful for it. I want to be the number one player in the world. That's um, my goal, um, and I'm, it's not going to be tomorrow. It's not going to be the end of the year. Um, it might not be next year, but that's, uh, that's my goal.